Hello and welcome back to another Mountain Blade Warband video. As usual, I hope everyone is safe and well. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe as this really helps the channel out uh, very substantially. And it really does help give me the kind of uh, motivation to carry on and keep on creating as much content as possible. So today's video is based and is created because of a few subscribers who wanted a guide on how to marry a lady so here it is and then as usual like i say if you do have any comments or kind of wanting any videos made in specific kind of directions of a guide just chuck them in the comment section below i do read i do respond so i hope this helps out so in preparation to finding and marrying a lady of the realm one thing that you should really do is learn uh, poems and to do this you need to go and find a tavern and find a wandering ashik or someone like that who can actually teach you any and all poems obviously he'll go through it with you but also with these wandering ashiks you can also ask him for all the info uh, which will be shown in li this literal segment here he has all the information on how to marry so if you ever get a bit confused and maybe i'm not explaining it as well go find them look on all the tabs and you can uh, get all the information there as well uh so realistically you could do with quite a few of these poems as not all the ladies respond that well to poems so they respond in different ways but so pretty much have as many poems as possible to try and help charming but that won't be the end of this type of situation Afterwards, you need to pick your lady. Um, I would recommend a lady with a well-connected father and a few brothers. Uh, make sure these guys like you as well. That is actually quite a decent factor. Uh, another side note on that one. You need to have a good renown and a good honor rating. These kind of help, help to boost uh, marrying your lady without having to elope. Both with what the father thinks about you and how the lady will actually judge you in the end. As in the end she'll weigh up her, her options uh, now I, rec I would recommend first approaching your lady after winning a tournament uh, going to the feast and dedicating the win to her uh, it gives a good initial boost and every other time you do this uh, during your courtship it really does help out gain that relationship so when you initiate the actual kind of courtship um, you're asking if obviously if you guys can potentially see each other in the future uh, so this kind of creates a little bit of a side quest for you in the whole game uh, now when you ask her to start courting you'll be asked to meet her so many times as a side quest like I just said in secret um, this is usually either by doing it via just announcing yourself at that place where they live or when they send their handmaiden to come find you um, if you do fail to meet her um, in, in a lot of time it doesn't decrease the relationship as she knows you might have been busy uh, but a side note on that one on the side of that um, I would also be preparing and I would also own a castle uh, first before marrying um, as this is where she will live and can organize feasts to boost your popularity and relations with other lords but that's for the future kind of time being um, like I say each time you meet up with, uh, with her use some of uh, the poetry and keep boosting your relationship keep asking the questions but kind of play it delicate because it actually does um have a positive and can be a negative effect during these meetings um when you think you have done enough so you got a bit of a positive um you know a decent positive relationship with her uh you can ask her uh if you think you've got a future together and at this point she will kind of weigh up her options weigh up what she thinks about you and this kind of situation uh, but she will also have to think about what her father thinks as well and sometimes this will trigger her saying that you need to go and ask her father's permission or her father has already set up her to marry another lord and at this point you can go find that lord and duel him to get him to walk away or or eventually you can elope if you if you can uh, get through the obviously diplomatic way uh, but this is not a great idea as it can cause a big problem and half the time the lady will actually side with her family in the end anyway so you need to do this right uh, once you've persuaded her or asked her father 
he will ask for a certain amount of um, money for a bridal purse. Now this bridal purse is for when you assign it to a castle and that castle gets taken over by another kingdom. Uh, this bridal purse is kind of used as a, um, obviously like kind of a moving kind of factor. Um, so they can actually use that. Uh, so, but at this point, hopefully you're currently actually at war. So you can raid caravans and fives, thieves and uh, for goods, goods to sell. Uh, this is a really quick way to generate this money. It's the main way that I do it. Um, once you have, you have the amount, um, go to a father and tell him that you have the money and this will trigger the wedding and it will cut to a scene where you will see the king marrying you both. And there we have it, you are married and you can now uh, do feasts at your castle or town. So it's quite simple, um, but the politics of the land really don't help sometimes. And it is a big contest between whether or not you are good enough in her father's eyes or in her eyes. If not, you can always move on to another person and try again. It's just a case of finding the right one at the time with the with your right statistics like your renown and honor and all that type of stuff and the land that you own. Are you worthy, pretty much? So I've kind of summed it up. Um, like I say in this video, you've actually got all the information, uh, but I hope this has helped. So I hope that this video has been useful to you and that you have enjoyed it. As usual though, if you do have any suggestions or any op opinions that you think I've actually missed out, make sure to put them in the comments below. If you've got any videos you want to see of the future, if there's any guides that you want, just put it in the comment section below. And most importantly, make sure to like, comment again, and most importantly, subscribe and turn on them notifications so then you can get an immediate, obviously, ping of when a new video comes out. As obviously that first 24 hours is very pivotal whether or not that video will do well or not. And like, it will help the channel. So like I say, this video has been dedicated to the subscribers who asked for it. So like I say, I do read the comments. I do act upon these comments. So I hope you see this and I hope you all have a good and safe day. And we shall see you in the future. Thank you very much.